Hey guys, it's Dorian. So I've had some requests about um, when you make your own custom Linux distribution in a virtual machine, how do you get it out onto an ISO and make it bootable and reinstallable on another system? Well, I'm going to show you here. I'm using a uh, virtual box like I always do. Uh, what you're going to do first is you're going to put your USB stick into your laptop or PC. If I can find it. Can't really see it from where I'm sitting. Okay, and now you want to wait until it's mounted. So it mounted now. So open up your file manager and make sure it has the eject. So make sure it's, it works. Uh, in your virtual machine settings, settings, USB, and you want to hit this add new USB filter, and it's going to show you all your USB devices. Mine is Alexar jump drive, so that's the one that I want. Pick whichever one you use and hit OK. Now, when you fire up your machine, you hear the clicking noise if your OS supports it, um, saying that my host system has unmounted the drive. And then log in. So now I'm, of course, using a, an Ubuntu based um, starting point distro. Uh, whatever you used, you might have to look it up yourself. But what I use, you're going to want to install system back. Now, I already have it installed, so it's not going to install it again. Uh, it's in the 16.04 repository for Ubuntu. So if you just do this, uh, again, it's not going to do it for me. So do that. And once it's installed, you're going to run system back. This is what creates the bootable ISO and installer for you. So just put in your password. And now that's not all this does. This is actually a pretty awesome system for creating restore points and whatnot. But all we want to do is get this button, live system create. So you're going to hit that. Uh, working directory is where it's going to store all its files. You can name it my Linux. And if this is a virtual machine, it's important that you see this right target here. If it's on hardware, you don't really need it because you can copy the created ISO file off of it. It's a little harder to do, um, get a file out of a virtual machine, a virtual drive. So, okay, so we've named it. We said where it's gonna work and we're going to create new. And this takes a while, so I'm going to pause the video. Eating some veggies. Yum, yum. I love cauliflower. Okay, so now it's done. Yes, it takes quite a few minutes. And saying it's complete, created the SB Live file can be written to pen drive. I've never used this file that it talks about, but let me just show you here. What you could do now, if your stick is still inserted into the machine, and this is still a virtual machine, select the image and select the drive, and then you just say right to target. It'll copy the ISO to your USB stick and make it bootable. However, you want an ISO file. If you go into home, you can see this mylinux.sb live file. We want an ISO. So it creates an ISO, it takes a few more minutes. So while we're waiting, lastly, uh, just a little tip. When you install this ISO now on your system, it will be, your user will be just like how you set it up here. If you create a new user, it's gonna be blank. It'll have, it'll have no settings. Um, you'll log in and it'll just be blank, open, open box with nothing that you've set up. So what you can do, if you want your new users to have certain settings, go into your home folder, hit Control-H or whatever you use on your file manager to show your hidden files, 
and you're going to pick certain folders which have settings that you need specifically in config open box um, nitrogen if you want the users to have the same background that you have and whatnot and you're going to go to sorry i had a phone call um so where was i uh, right so you're going to take whatever settings that you want um, your new users to have and you're going to go this has to be with root permissions by the way so you're going to go into um, etc and there's a folder called scale scale so you can see in here i have copied some things that i want my new us users to have whatever you put in here a new user will have when you create a new account. This is basically a template. Okay, so in the meanwhile, our ISO was created. So if I go back to home now, I can see the mylinux.iso file. So if you're on a machine, real hardware, and you can copy this ISO file somewhere else, or you wanna upload it on the net somewhere so that you can download it from your Google box or Google Drive or Dropbox or Share Drive or whatever you have, that's an option too. And that's about it. Then you boot from your system and you'll have the option to run as a live user, which will be this user here that you've created, or to install the system and then it'll run through an installation process. In other news, if you aren't following what's going on, I've demonetized all my YouTube videos now, so you guys should be seeing a lot less ads. I'm, I'm gonna do everything strictly Patreon, so everything's on a voluntary basis. And uh, follow me over on Twitter at dorian.slash. Until next time, bash on.